Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we got some news going on. Uh, I just wanted to <laughs> oops, point out that it is 30 degrees outside this morning. I started a little fire last night with my with my firewood I cut. And it's it was almost out this morning, but I had coals. This keeps coals really well. And so I started it back up. It is 69 degrees in here and 30 outside. Let me check. We don't want to be lying now, do we? Thirty point seven, sixty nine point four on my Radio Shack thermometer. I hope it runs forever. Um, I had one at the house in Smithville that my grandparents had left, and it ran for I don't know fifteen years, twenty years before it finally quit. So yeah, that little tiny bit of wood. It's definitely a couple days worth. And I think I'll go, it's going to be nice today. It's going to be yucky tomorrow, and I'm going to Dad's. So today, I'll probably take another walk with the dogs. I unloaded my wagon, and I'll do it again. Um, it's just the perfect kind of wood to keep you warm this time of year. As long as the little saw works, I'll keep chipping away and keep going with my wagon. And I'll go with my wagon even when the saw doesn't work because I can collect brush that I need to get out of the woods. You know, it's good for brush to be in the woods. Uh, I mean, it just, you know, it rots over time and it goes back to the wood, goes back to the forest floor, which is good. Um, mushrooms and plants and all kinds of things come up from it. But too much is not good if you get a fire. There you go. Um, this is my latest project. If you've been with me for a while, or if you've looked at any of my older videos, uh, this was a winter project me and Ruth <laughs> did one winter. And now I got blue. He lays next to me while I sit. And so on my new recliner sofa, um, and this is my latest basket. And a lot of this is my um, stepmom's stuff. These are both her shirts, I can tell right there. The striped one was shirts of hers. Uh, this was a jacket of hers. And uh, I told Keith, if he can, grab some of his mama's clothes. You know, because uh, so many times when you pass away, y'all... Clothes are one of the things that are very personal and other people don't usually want a whole lot of your clothes when you pass away and they end up going to Goodwill or, you know, wherever. Sometimes they get thrown away. And this is something I can do with just about anything. Not sweaters, because they would just ravel. I haven't figured one out for sweaters yet. I bet there is one. Um... I've actually seen some YouTube tutorials on things to do with sweaters. But that means breaking out my sewing machine. But anyways, this is what I'm doing here. This will be a rug. I'll either give it to Dad or um, my brother Jason or something like that. I keep it for myself, but I think I have enough rugs, y'all. They're everywhere. Everywhere. He is the messiest eater. Just saying. I think his lips hold food. Apollo, he didn't lose his hair on his butt when we went to when we went to Texas, but he's got raw spots in between his back legs. I saw yesterday when we were walking, and behind his ears, and one on his neck. So he just kind of freaks out. You see that spider? Ooh, you see that? He crawled back under the rug. Right on the edge of that purple rug, there is a spider walking along underneath. Ew. All right, y'all. Spiders eat the other bugs. Y'all have a good day. Me and the boys are going to have a good day. 
and rain is coming tomorrow and i will be going to dad's take it easy everybody